Ha ha ha, you don't need to get her there. Not do you yet. You don't need boxing there. But anyway, how are you going, Estonian? Okay, um, let's go here. Volume. What have I done? Okay, so um, how many characters do I have? Okay, I have my elf, my male. Okay. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Can you actually hear my voice now? Stony? Or do I need to turn it down a bit more? Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness okay. and prevail. Because my um, headset and my dying on me, so I have to readjust. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, 
and our warnings have been ignored for too long. It may even be too late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Half Mill Hill, Goku, Princess Leia, John Jupiter, Jax. TV, Doc, and Victress, Convicts, Cheesy, Death Upon You, John, The Evil Scotsman, Team Rocket 23, and Coach Or oh, Thank you guys for your hosts. Okay, um, let's go, female cap. Hmm. The Dwarves can't do magics. It's either elf or human. I already have a female elf. Strength, dexterity, or two to magic and web. Greetings. Okay, we're there now. Uh, <coughs> looks like someone drained the life out of her.
it is gone! Greetings. Greetings. Charmed. Greetings. 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 Charmed. Greetings. Ugh! My spell! Charmed. I lost the spell. Greetings. I cannot cast it! Greetings. Well, that didn't work. Greetings. No, it is gone! I should do something else. Excuse me. Greetings. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhod stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinter Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. Know this, apprentice. If you fail, we Templars will perform our duty. You will die. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you, and remember the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. Audio, bring special effects down, bring the music down, bring the dialogue down a bit. Hopefully this will ensure that you guys can hear me. Did 
Get there. All right, all right. So what are you Can up you to, Estonian? Excellent! I hate being in the fade. I'm part of Dragon Age, I dislike. Walls. As fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well... Mouse. It's fuzzy, that time before. They wake you up in the middle of the night and drag you to the harrowing chamber. And then... The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. There's something here, contained, just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it, if you can. That's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. They be help. If you can believe anything you see, I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago, but you, you may have a way out. The dangerous spirit what? is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. Excellent! Another spirit this way. It never seemed to... Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill. To be sent unarmed against a demon. Indeed. The choice and the fault lies with the mages who sent you here. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your... I wish you a glorious battle to come. I am Balor, a warrior spirit. I hone my weapons in search of the perfect expression of combat. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna go see what's up with my boys.
They are brought into being by my will. I understand that in your world, mages are the only ones who can will things into being. Those mortals who cannot must lead such hollow, empty lives. Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. As you wish, mortal. We battle until I am convinced you are strong enough to defeat your demon. If you do not convince me, I will slay you. Are these rules understood? Our duel begins now. Fight with Valor! Get you a ladder so you can get off my back. Got it. I'll get on it. Enough. Your strength is sufficient to the task. The staff is yours. May you find glory in all your achievements, mortal. Uh, oh, I hate the fade. Oh, I hate the fade. Excellent. Cautious. There is another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. Excellent! don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. I know that you will fail your test. And he will eat you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. I am a spirit of sloth. Yes, a creature of the Fade. Unlike yourself, mortals are ever the visitors here. Still, you serve your function. Only the mortals like yourself are truly annoying. Many mortals dream. They come here often, but you are not one of those. You are aware. A mortal with power and will. The sort of creature that some spirits hunger for. I might be inclined for such a meal myself, 
It will be interesting to see the mortal world through your eyes, live inside your form. But I am disinclined to begin such a struggle. Do not anger me. My inclinations can change. You have a very nice staff. Why do you need me? Go. Use your weapon since you have earned it. Be valorous. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? It's true. I am quite powerful in this form. When I wish to be. I welcome the opportunity, if it is my choice. The mages in the tower are quick to volunteer others, as you well know. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear, if you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm hmm? I told you he wasn't going to help us. I can't. You have so much to learn about the Fade, little mortal. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Surely? Oh. Well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? Seas and mountains, perhaps, but coasts? Time to feel. I am grateful, no creature. Now's better than later. On your guard, Ray! I'll get on it. Enough. You are a pest, and not worth all this exertion. I will teach the mouse to be the bear, if only to get rid of you. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. Hmm. Close enough. Go, then, and defeat your demon, or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. I've taught the mouse. Do not persist in bothering me. I'm tired. The mouse is a bear. <coughs> and I'm very aware. <laughs> And 
There is a spirit of rage. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. They are welcome to try. So this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. Arrangement. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now. And soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? <laughs> all right, all right. Got it. I'm sick of hiding. Got it. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Now's better than later. All right, all right. Got it, I'll get on it. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? I'll get on it. Got it. Now's better than later. All right, all right. All right, all right. No! Now's better than later. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Excellent! You did it. You actually did it. When you came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to... But I never really thought any of you were worthy. What? They were not as promising as you. It was a long time ago. Uh, I don't remember their names. I don't even remember my own name. It's the Fade, and the Templars killing me. Like they tried with you. I am what the Fade has made me. Am I to blame for that? Deciding to exist or not exist is not a fair choice. I had no hope. You have shown me other possibilities. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. No, 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 no. It must be your choice. Quickly now. The Templars are going to kill you. Can't you feel the sword at your neck? They believe all magic evil. The Fade evil. Once you are here, you become what they fear. What? Yes, of course. I mean, I think I was. Isn't that enough? It should be enough. For you? Maybe they are right about you. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Are you all right? Say something, please. I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? Huh, so much for friendship. I'll leave you alone then. 
And now you get to move to the nice mage's quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. Oh, why would they want to test the blood thing? I've been ready for a long time. I'm afraid they don't want me to take the test. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. They might not, but the right of tranquility is just as bad, maybe worse. You've seen the tranquil around the tower, like a Wayne who runs the stockroom. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice, his eyes are lifeless. I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Did you hear anything? Is she all right? Is she awake? Why do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. That Templar, Cullen, said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. He says she's very talented and very brave. Well, he would, wouldn't he? I just know I'll be terrified when my time comes. Like Wendell was. He threw up every day for the next week just thinking about it. I'm terrible at spells. You're lucky you're so talented. Congratulations on your test. Someone's always watching. I swear, it's like the walls have eyes. Shh. Did you hear? Hear what? I heard they suspect someone of dabbling in blood magic. Why would anyone do something so stupid that the death sentence? That's what I hear anyway. This tower is too cold.
must control the fire with your will. Keep the flame steady. We don't want it sputtering and leaping about. That's what causes most of the injuries. Injuries? But... 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 Steady. It reacts to your emotions. If you panic, it will... No, no, no. Breathe. Uh. You know, in my experience, flint and tinder works just as well. Maybe we should start with that. Can you tell where I burned off my hair? Is it very obvious? We're all really happy for you. Do any of you remember what the Chantry says about magic? Magic must serve man and not rule over him. Very good. And what do you think that means? Can anyone tell me? Only boys can do magic. Hey! No, that's not what it means. It means that magic should be used to help people, but we can't use our magic to... to force people to do what we want. That's right. We should not abuse the gift the Maker has given us. I heard your harrowing went well. That's wonderful to hear. Being in the tower is much better than being on the farm. Being in the tower is much better than being on the farm. Boys are better at magic than girls. I can't wait to learn the fire spells. It looks like fun. I hear Irving's waiting to give you your mage robes. Concentrate. Hold the shield. <laughs> if I had put all my power behind that spell, you would have been obliterated. I am not your enemy. I heard Humbert volunteered to take the right of tranquility. How awful! Demon, with your will wavering, so it would consume you. No. Then stand firm and know you can resist Hello whatever there. I throw at you. Again. I'm terrible at spells. You're lucky you're so talented. I can't wait for my harrowing. Congratulations on your test. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? The Stockroom is not a shop. Your mentor should have clarified this. The Stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? Very well. It's great to see you. It's always sad when an apprentice fails the harrowing. Ah, this is infuriating. Another batch destroyed. Say, have you seen Owain? Is he in the stockroom? Oh, excellent. 
He wasn't there last I looked. I hope he still has some cinnabar lying around. When I asked last week, he said he was running out. I'd avoid Leora if I were you. She's been rather testy lately. Senior Enchanter, Leora, over there. Uh, let's press it over where I need to go and go see the enchanter. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Blessed are the penitents who seek his return. Blessed is the prophetess, purified by flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. So let it be. Oh, I didn't see you there. I recite the Maker's blessings every day. It brings me peace in troubled times. Oh, all right then. I should go. My mentor only allows a few minutes each day for religious contemplation. I heard about your harrowing. Congratulations. Andraste must have smiled upon you. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynn, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Ah, if it isn't our sister in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is she. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then... Uh... Where was I? Oh, yes. This is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. The Darkspawn threat grows in the south. We need all the help we can get. Hey Slayer, how's it going? <sighs> no problem. Enjoy, thanks. They have formed into a horde in the Kokari Wilds, and threaten to invade north into the valley. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry, the poor girl, with talk of blights and darkspawn. This is a happy day for her. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of Magi. We've all been through it, child. I'm sorry, what is this phylactery? Blood is taken from all apprentices when they first come to the tower and is preserved in special vials. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. 
The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the right. Now then, take your time to rest, or study in the library. The day is yours. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Oh, um, uh, hello. I, uh, I'm glad to see your harrowing went smoothly. Th they picked me as the Templar to strike the killing blow if, if you became an abomination. It's nothing personal, I swear. I, uh, I, I'm just glad you're all right, you know? You've always been so confident, or so I hear. Um, I've heard of failed harrowings, and the consequences were unpleasant. Oh, you're not distracting. I mean, you are, but, well, you're not. I mean, you can talk to me any time, if you want. Uh, uh, yes, maybe we can talk another time. Thank you for escorting me. I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please. We should be safe here. We can see the door from here. If anyone comes, we'll change the subject. I often attend to my duties in this chapel. Perhaps that is why I seem familiar. A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. This is Lily. 
So you can see why we wish to keep it a secret. Lily's been given to the Chantry. She's not allowed to have relations with men. If anyone finds out, we'll both be in trouble. I wish that was the only thing I needed to talk about. Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily. All gone. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. Thank you. We will never forget this. Hey, big pocket. Oh yeah, I started a, a mage character, so we're just going to do that at the moment. I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power <sighs> enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? We have no choice. We cannot get our hands on both keys. I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stockroom, but Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. We should stay here. One mage at the stockroom will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. Good luck. Our prayers go with you. Um, yes? That leads to the Circle's cavern storerooms. There are caves running through the rock that the Circle is built upon. But of course, you know this. Uh, no, uh, I, I can't let anyone in there just now. <sighs> there are just things in there that I would prefer to keep safe. Yes, but I... I am in the midst of stock-taking, checking inventory, and I, I can't let anyone in there in case they m mess things up. Yes. Because I am taking a break. I hate the musty smell of caves, and I, uh... Ugh. Look, I'll tell you the truth. Just keep it to yourself. There is an infestation of spiders in the caves. I don't know how they got in there, but it's probably my fault. I was promoted to senior enchanter less than a fortnight ago, and I don't want anyone to find out. They'll think I'm incompetent. I could use some, I'm sure. I've been too busy with my new duties. I haven't been able to deal with the spiders. If you cleared them out for me, I would owe you a favor. A big one. Wonderful. Here is the key. Oh, and be careful in there. I'd really like to keep the damage done to the Circle's property to a minimum. Of course. We weren't done. We would done not now. want them to find out that you're incompetent for. Let's get those spiders. And steal some props.
Now's better than later. <laughs> all right, all right. You're hopeless! I hope everyone's doing well. Now better than later. Got it. Make sure I don't miss anything. You're back! Are the spiders gone? Really? Oh, that's wonderful. You've saved my hide, I'm sure. And I owe you a favor, so if you need anything, I'll be here. Thanks again. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Rods of Fire serve many purposes. 
Why do you wish to acquire this particular item? Here is the form, Request for Rod of Fire. Have it signed and dated by a senior enchanter. I will release a rod to you once I have the signed form. Thank you. Someone owes me a favor. Yeah, I can go all the way. It's good around. to see you again. A rod of fire? Hmm. Oh, sure, I could sign that. What would it hurt? Right. There you go. How's that? It was a pleasure. You'll go far in the circle, I bet. Yeah, especially if they do corruption charges. Ah! I'll be the next Donald Trump. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Everything looks to be in order. Here is the rod you requested. What do you just keep them in your pant and your robes? Bit freaky. Jonathan did something before it came to that. I think someone's here to speak to you, Senior Torren. Hello. Congratulations on your harrowing last night. Good work. Uh, oh, they're found in all circles throughout Thedas. Groups of enchanters who hold similar viewpoints, who band together to make their voices heard. The most influential fraternity are the Equitarians. They are moderates and believe in a code of conduct that all mages should adhere to. Then there are the Chantry apologists, the Loyalists. The Chantry says something and they follow it to the letter. The Lucrosians just want to make money, and the Isolationists would like us all to be hermits and live on an island. Then, of course, there are the Libertarians. They want more power for the Circle, more autonomy. Huh. Well, if I had to, I'd say I was an Equitarian, but I ducked out of the fray a long time ago. Most of the senior enchanters are Equitarians. Irving, Wynne, Sweeney. Ulred's a Libertarian, and a loud one at that. Ah, uh, mages have enough opposition from the outside without tearing our circles apart with infighting. But what can you do? An idealist, I see. Well, if you're going to change the world, you should get started immediately. Lots of world to cover. Hello, were you looking for something? Oh, the fraternities. Groups of mages with a common agenda. <sighs> I think we should all be isolationists. Stay in some remote mountain town far away from the mundanes who hate us. They'll never learn that. They don't want to. I'd go hide alone in the wilds if I could. But you know they just brand me an apostate and hunt me down. There is no leaving the circle. It's till death do us part. Romantic, isn't it? I'm Njal, a mage just like you. I've seen you around, haven't I? I must have. All right. Have a good day. More books to grab. Yep. And Duncan. Hello again, my young friend. I hardly expected to meet you here. Likewise, I am enjoying the splendors of the library. The Circle of Magi is fortunate to have so many wonderful books at its disposal. 
Perhaps. I shan't bore you with the details, though. You seem preoccupied. Might I ask what you're doing? If you might indulge me, I would like to ask you about the Circle. Mages like yourself must have opinions on current affairs such as the war. As you know, the King is gathering an army. You don't fear using the power at your disposal, do you? It is dangerous, yes, but necessary. What about abominations or blood magic? Do you deny that these things exist? I'm glad you see that. Exercising some caution is always wise. Well, I'm sure you've better things to do than chat with an old man. Good day. We shall meet again. Oh, yes. Yes, we shall. To ensure that I don't get the chop. Oh, oh uh, hello. I don't believe we've met. Are you new to the circle? I'm sorry. There are so many of you, and I get confused. Not to mention, these old eyes are starting to go. You're too kind. I'm old and about to fall apart. Nothing in the world can fix that. Not any magic I'd be caught doing. Anyway, uh, did you need something? I'm not good at talking. Too much chatter makes my head throb. Don't you have lessons to get to? Shoo! Can I stab him? Please let me stab him. How rude. I want to stab him. Stab him, stab him. He been rude, he been a prick. I trust you saw Duncan back to his quarters? I'm glad you met him. He's a most honorable man. Certainly. What is on your mind? And how does he know this? I suppose the young initiate he dallies about with revealed it to him. You think I didn't know? I did not become first enchanter by keeping my eyes and ears shut. Oh, interesting. What more do you know? Yes, she must be helping him. She would know more about the repository than he would. Do you know anything else? I suspected Lily would tell him of the impending right if she found out. But I never expected they would have the gall to break into the repository. Reporting him to Gregor and the Templars will accomplish nothing beyond what's already planned. If the Circle must punish one of its own, I will see the Chantry done the same courtesy. Lily will not walk free while my apprentice suffers. She is also breaking every vow she ever took. If we mention her involvement, the Chantry will say that she was framed. No, she must be caught in the act. 
If you want to survive, you must learn the rules and realize that sometimes sacrifices are necessary. Jowen will become tranquil, but Lily must also face the consequences of her actions. How did you learn of their plan? Do they trust you? Perfect. Will you return to them and carry out their scheme? With solid proof of their crime, we can act. Go. Convince them you will risk all for their cause. I will be outside the repository with a contingent of Templars. Let them see the mischief into which their initiate led our student. Perform well, and your dedication will be rewarded. Uh. I hate waiting. It makes me nervous. That was quick. To the repository, then. Freedom of waits. Oh, that's what you think. Yeah, we gotta go down level, don't we? To the repository. Up one way. <laughs> yeah, and you get the back step then. Oh no! We're an abomination! Look! We've melted into one! Got her! I've seen more hideous things in my lifetime. I can't wait for my heroine. Oh, but the repository. So it should always be under guard. That's the one thing I never understood. It's normally always under guard and then but just this time it's not. Sounds a bit suspicious. The chantry calls this entrance the victim's door. It is built of two hundred and seventy seven planks. One for each original Templar. It is a reminder of all the dangers those cursed with magic pose. The doors can be opened only by a Templar and a mage entering together. The Chantry provides the password which primes the ward, and the mage touches it with mana to release it. The ward only responds to the touch of one who has been through the harrowing. Yes, I got it from a Templar who recently accompanied a mage into the vault. We have chatted on many occasions. I believe he trusts me. First the password. Sword of the Maker, Tears of the Fade. The password only primes the door. Now it must feel the touch of mana. Any spell will do, but hurry! And the second door? Do you have the rod with you? Mount the locks off! What's the matter? Why isn't it working? Lily, something's not right. I can't cast spells here. Nothing works. These wards carved into the stone. This must be the Templar's work. They negate any magic cast within this area. I should have guessed. 
Why would Gregor and Irving use simple keys for such a door? Because magical keys don't work. How do you keep mages away from something? Make their powers completely worthless. That's it then. Yep. We're finished. We can't get in. You mean through that door? That door probably leads to another part of the repository. What are the chances of there being another entrance? No. I'll take any chance I can get. We can't get into the chamber the way we planned, but we're not about to give up. We can see where this door leads, but I don't think it'll be easy. It looks locked for one. Let's hurry. We've wasted enough time. Yes, you guys have wasted enough of my time, and just so I get something out of it, I'm stealing all your clothes. I'm not giving okay, up. We've come too later. far. I thought I saw something. All right, all right. I'll get on it. Excellent. Well, one, um, because this is the first part of your journey, you won't see that, well, except for one of them, you won't see Mouse these guys again, later. so. Why would they need the equipment Mouse they have? I'm not sure I'm cut out for this! Oh dear! Something is coming. Can I get you a ladder if you can get off my back? <gasps> Now's better than later. I'm not afraid of you! This'll be fun! Excellent!
I'll get on it. I can't now back to later. Things are got it not of the maker. Can I get you a ladder so you can get on my back? You're hopeless! Excellent! Oh, this is a nasty one. gonna fall and it sure won't be me! Oh, that's the way it has to be! Now it's better than later. <laughs> But this repository is big. Them. 
Now is better than later. We'll need another way into the phylactery chamber. Let's explore the repository. Wow. What do you think this does? Why does the Circle keep so many Taventa artifacts in storage? It's history, Lily. And it's fascinating. I've seen pictures of things like this. They amplify any spell cast into them. I bet we could use this to break into the phylactery chamber. See where the mortar might be decaying behind that bookcase? Let's take a closer look. It should be pretty easy to get this out of the way. If we work together, we can shift it. Come on. Now we just need to find a way to get through this wall. There's something odd about that statue. Greetings. Make us breath! Did it just say something? I am the essence and spirit of Eleni Zenovia, once consort and advisor to Archon Valerius. Prophecy my crime, cursed to stone for foretelling the fall of my lord's house. I'm not sure. The Archons were the lords of the Imperium. Forever shall you stand on the threshold of my proud fortress, he said, and tell your lies to all who pass. But my lord found death at the hands of his enemies, and his once proud fortress crumbled to dust, as I foretold. A Deventer statue! Don't listen to it. The Deventer lords dabbled in many forbidden arts. This is a wicked thing. It must have been here for years. Look at the dust. I feel a little sorry for it. Uh, her. Weep not for me, child. Stone they made me, and stone I am, eternal and unfeeling. And I shall endure till the Maker returns to light their fires again. No help can be given me, for this is my doom and my destiny. Ambiguous rubbish, it could mean anything. I can do it too. The sun grows dark, but lo, here comes the dawn. Stop talking to it. Please, both of you. Come on, Jowen. Let's go. Use this with the rod. I'm sure it'll work. Hurry, the clock's ticking. This is the phylactery chamber. It worked. We must find Jowen's phylactery, quickly. With the other apprentice phylacteries, I imagine. Would you destroy yours too if it were here? Right.
I see enemies ahead. Got it. Be careful! <gasps> if it's a fight you want. That's right! Come on! You're in a low head! The maker is with us! Got it. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Push them back! I'll get on it. I don't like this. That's my phylactery! You found it! I can't believe this tiny vial stands between me and freedom. So fragile. So easy just to be rid of it. To end its hold over me. And I am free. Only apprentice phylacteries are stored in the Circle Tower. This tiny room could not hold the phylacteries of every mage who has passed through the tower doors. Come on, you two. We're done here and we should leave. I do not want to stay here a moment longer. It. Thank you. We could never have... So what you said was true, Irving. Gregor... An initiate conspiring with a blood mage. I'm disappointed, Lily. She seems shocked, but fully in control of her own mind. Not a thrall of the blood mage, then. You are right, Irving. The Initiate has betrayed us. The Chantry will not let this go unpunished. And this one. Newly a mage and already flouting the rules of the Circle. It's not her fault. This was my idea. She is here under my orders, Gregor. I take full responsibility for her act. Wait, you... You led us into a trap? Don't you dare speak to me! Enough! As Knight Commander of the Templars here assembled, I sentence this blood mage to death. And this initiate has scorned the Chantry and her vows. Take her to Aenar. The... the mage's prison? No. Please, no. Not there! No! I won't let you touch her! The Maker. Blood magic. How could you? You said you never... I admit, I, I dabbled. I thought it would make me a better mage. Blood magic is evil, Jowan. It corrupts people. Changes them. I'm going to give it up. All magic. I just want to be with you, Lily. Please come with me. I trusted you. I was ready to sacrifice everything for you. I don't know who you are, Blood Mage. Stay away from me. Are you all right? Where's Gregor? I knew it. Blood magic. But to overcome so many, I never thought him capable of such power. None of us expected this. Are you all right, Gregor? As good as can be expected, given the circumstances. 
If you had let me act sooner, this would not have happened. Now we have a blood mage on the loose and no way to track him down. Believe me, we will use our every resource. Where is the girl? I... I am here, sir. You helped a blood mage. Look at all he's hurt. Save your breath. I can speak for myself. Night Commander, I... I was wrong. I was accomplice to a... a blood mage. I will accept whatever punishment you see fit. Even... even Aenar. Get her out of my sight. And you. You were in a repository full of magics that are locked away for a reason. Did you take anything important from the repository? Very well. I believe you. But your antics have made a mockery of this circle! What are we to do with you? As I said, she was working under my orders. And this improves the situation? The phylactery chamber is forbidden to all save you and me! I had my reasons. You're not all-knowing, Irving. You don't know how much influence the Blood Mage might have had. How are we to deal with this? Knight Commander, if I may, I'm not only looking for mages to join the King's army, I'm also recruiting for the Grey Wardens. Irving spoke highly of this mage, and I would like her to join the Warden ranks. What? You've promised him a new Grey Warden? She has served the Circle well. She would make an excellent Grey Warden. We look for dedication in our recruits. Fighting the Darkspawn requires such dedication, often at the expense of all else. I object. You say she operated under your instructions, Irving. But I do not trust her. I must investigate this issue, and I will not release this mage to the Grey Warden. Gregor, mages are needed. This mage is needed. Worse things plague this world than blood mages. You know that. I take this young mage under my wing and bear all responsibility for her actions. This mage does not deserve a place in the Order! Why, do we not reward service? This mage has served the Circle well. You have an opportunity few even dream of. Do not squander it. Yes, be proud, child. You are luckier than you know. You will have ample opportunity to hone your skills, I assure you. Come, your new life awaits. <laughs> Gregor's pissed. Oh, he's pissed. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho oh there, friend. Might I know your name? Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. 
I understand you hail from a circle of magi. I trust you have some spells to help us in the coming battle. Excellent. We have too few mages here. Another is always welcome. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. Overconfident, some would say, right? <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm not certain the blight can be ended quite as quickly as you might wish. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the King said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the King to act solely on my feeling. Yes, we should proceed with the ritual. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. You must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. Yes, yes I am. We stand here in this hour. What do we have here? I heard the new Grey Warden recruit was from the Circle. I don't believe we've met, but I've certainly heard a lot about your talent. My name is Wynne, and I congratulate you on your harrowing, marvelous work. The Fade is a dangerous place. I thought the same. It's good you can admit that. So, a Grey Warden, fighting alongside the King. Not too shabby for someone just out of apprenticeship. The King must always seem confident. His behavior affects the troops' morale. He does seem to find his enthusiasm easily, though. Reminds me of a puppy. And I say that with both respect and affection. He is a fine man. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Some. Do you? Do you know about the connection between them and the Fade, for example? Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, 
where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Yes, occasionally it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you? With your king, you will have served your maid. So, any last wish? Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. Oh, me and Sir Knight were just betting on what the third recruit would be. Not a woman. Yet, here you are. The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they'd cook this ritual up just for our benefit. <laughs> that depends on what kind of life you've led. Me, I'm perfectly willing to accept that this joining is some kind of punishment. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see? And I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. Oh, I'll watch your back. <laughs> Uh, that's a little extreme. It's not like I can miss the scenery, is it? <laughs> anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. How do you do? Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. Ah, oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands for me. I can find them myself. Arms and armor for the mo- I also have some, uh, let me know. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Let me know.
No problem, big porky. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your night. In the name of Andraste, I bless you. Greetings. May you must be the third recruit we've heard about. So let it be. Sir Jury is my name. I was not aware they permitted women to join the grid. I had heard mages join, but, um... Well, I had not. Yes, I apologize. Um, I suppose... Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. No, I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. I expect nobody thought of it with all the battles and such. Because you might want some... That's why I'm... I can't use it from here. But I'd trade you for some food and water. I swallowed it. But it's... What? What? What in Andraste's name did you do that for? Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't give you the right to go and kill anyone you please. Explain yourself. Hmm. I suppose you did it there. Fair enough. Well, no skin off my teeth. When they ask me why he's dead, that's what I'll tell them. Look carefully, men. This wretched thing is a dark spot. They're strong and cunning and smart. But don't listen to those old wives' tales. This is supposed to be the battle that sent these dark people back underground. Back over and grab whatever's over there. There were lots of dogs spawned, different kinds. He's getting reported. Now we go see Alistair. And I'll complete doing the. Well, getting ourselves to the cat. I don't know if I'll complete the other wing. I haven't got that far yet. Make a watch over you, my lady. I'll get on it.
I'm sorry, but the... Um, dickhead online. That course of action is inadvisable. Your brain is inadvisable. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Maid. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The grumpy one. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Really? You don't look like a mage. Uh, that is... I mean... <laughs> how interesting. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit from the Circle of Magi. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. Duncan sent word. He spoke quite highly of you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Alistair, the new Grey Warden. Though I guess you knew that. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Right, that was the name. You know, it just occurred to me that there have never been many women in the Grey Wardens. I wonder why that is. True, but if you're here, what does that make you? Sad, isn't it? So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. With the mage, the circle is here at the king's request. And the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting know how unwelcome they are. Which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. Not that that's all Templars do, but yes, the Chantry raised me until Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger. And the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently, they didn't get the same speech. Dabith and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? That makes things easy, then. They'll both be back with Duncan by now. You do? Huh. That's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Hmm, this isn't good. I hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. This is a Mabari, smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. 
I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds any time soon? There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. The scrolls contain treaties promising support, treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. You there, Elf. What's your name? Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Is that Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. 
Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is... boring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop it here, I need to have something to eat, so thank you guys for watching, we're gonna save it here, and I'll continue it again later, but thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed.